Hey guys, it's Dana and welcome back to Kay's Place. So I had to run out to Hobby Lobby. Um, I truly went to pick up a few pieces of paper and some pearls. And I ended up picking up two small pads of paper, some pieces of paper, and a few other things. I can never walk in Hobby Lobby without getting more than I intended to buy. It's a dangerous place. And then I went by my favorite, it's called a Peddler's Mall, so it's like a big indoor yard sale where people just kind of leave things to sell. So I went by my favorite one and I found a few other little crafty kind of items and picked those up and I'll share those with you guys. And um, so, show you guys what I picked up. And then at the end, I received some happy mail from a very dear friend, and I wanted to share those with you guys because it is so pretty and so beautiful. And it'll give you an idea of what I picked up the paper for that I'm going to be working on. So, let me show you what I picked up. So, Hobby Lobby had their beads, some of their beads by Bead Design Company on sale. And I'm working on a project, and I needed some 6 millimeter pearls. So I picked up this bag of six millimeter faux pearls. So I didn't really need this many, but it was cheaper to buy them like this than it was to buy them on a strand. And this worked just fine for my purpose. And this is $4.99 and these were 50% off. So those up. And then I found this in the clearance section and these are just two and a half inch uh, scallop circle die cuts and there's 30 pieces and they're craft color but these work great if I'm making shakers or wands sometimes I just need a backing piece especially if I'm making a wand um, or making um, rosettes sometimes I need a two and a half inch circle it doesn't matter what color it is so I thought these would be great for 75 cents And then I found these on clearance. These are just the flea market fun, uh, flea market fancies. And these are just some uh, tassels. I still have yet to find the bead caps and learn to make paper tassels. I, I eventually will find some like scissors that do this work. I've seen them. I know somebody has them. So, um, I want to find them so I can make some paper tassels and give try my hand at it. But I found these. These were on clearance for a dollar. I thought those were some pretty colors for fall. I'll keep those on hand for fall. And then I picked up this Sussex die. And I already have this one in my stash. It's a Thinlitz die. And it says Amour, which is just love. And I figure I could stick this in my stash just for um, friend mail or whatever. To have around the gift to a friend at some point. And then they had these on clearance. These are the Paper Studio Stickability stickers. And these are some of the food stickers. These are Bon Appetit. So I really like these. There's the front ones. They're both the same on both sides. So I really like those stickers. Then they had their uh, Paper Studios ribbons on sale for 50% off. So this is the Mermaid Satin Ribbon. It's 5 eighths inch, 5 eighths inch by 6 feet. And that is what that looks like. Is that not just gorgeous ribbon? So pretty. Pick that up. And then this is the coffee satin ribbon which is 5 8 inch ribbon by 6 feet and it's just the little coffee cups and I've got quite a few dyes and different things that are the coffee cups and I really like that ribbon so I'll pick that up then um, I've been had my eye on the stamp and they had all their clear stamps on sale for 40% off so this one's regularly $13.99 it's by Art Impressions, the clear stamp. It's 15 pieces. It's by Bonnie Krebs. It's called Whisk It Set. It's um, got the sentiments that are in it is, let's bake some memories. 
whisking you a happy birthday. Life is short, take a whisk. I loaf you. Sugar, flour, eggs, and more. A birthday cake with candles galore. All you need, K-N-E-A-D, is love. Life is what you bake it. You make everything butter, B-U-T-T-E-R. So these are the stamps. I'm gonna show it up close so you can see them real good. There's the first part of them. There's the second part. I love the little stove. I think it's really cute. And they are just the clear stamps. That's what they look like on the back. I love to color, so I love buying these stamps so I can color. I'm practicing with my uh, Spectrum Noir markers. So that's what those look like. There's the front of the package. It ended up being just a little over $8, I believe. So I didn't think that was too bad. Then I have a, I have a um, swap coming up and I needed some packaging and I do not have any package toppers. And I keep meaning to look, one of my very favorite YouTube, um, YouTubers always links below where she gets her bags from and I keep meaning to click on it so that I can order some and I haven't yet and I looked in the baking section at Hobby Lobby um, but they didn't have any bags that were big enough but they did have these little zipper bags and this is a 24 count that are six and a half by five and a quarter inch and like they have, they have a little zipper on them and they say just for you and they've got little white polka dots and these were regularly $2.99, and I did use my 40% off coupon. And that's just what they look like there on the front. And I thought I could use these for packaging things during swaps, and then I'll just attach the topper to the top part of the um, zipper seal up here at the top. I'll make one. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but I thought that bag might be big enough to put in some of the dies that I have that I use as backing. So I thought that was kind of a cute idea until I can get some different bags to put my things in for my swaps. So then I picked up some paper. Um, I had bought a paper pad from, or a paper pack that was authentic from Tuesday morning a while back. And I had started working on one of those file folders and it used up all of that paper. And I hadn't been able to find that paper anywhere. So today when I was at Hobby Lobby, I found an 8x8 eight eight paper pad of that paper. So let me show you guys. I'm going to lower the camera so I can show you this paper. I love this paper. So it's called, it's 36, it's called 8x8 eight eight Bundle Collection Cheerful. And it's got 36 pattern papers in it. And there's the front of it by Authentic. And his just got, let me see if I can get a better. There we go. Let's see if we can get it. See, there we go. So it is just, they are double sided. And it is just the prettiest paper pad. It has got the cutest papers for some reason. Those are little ants. And you got the little trim pieces. And look at those. Those cut apart are just darling. And then it kind of repeats itself. I love the strawberries. And then if you look at it from the other side, the um, the back sides of those papers are just little black and white stripes. And then the picnic basket kind of, and the black and white polka dots. And it's got some writing, and then there's this flower design. Those are ladybugs. A little black and white check, and some green and white stripes and then a wood planking and that's a red with white strawberry design and that's black with some little white flowers and then I really love that one that's so pretty it's a white with black stripes and then yeah it just kind of repeats itself again so I love that one then the next one that I picked up was I've never bought a Prima paper stack. So I thought it was time. So I picked up the 
eight and a half by 11 love story by Prima. These were 50% off. All the paper pads were 50% off. So this is also double sided. So I'm sure everybody has seen this paper stack, but just in case you have not, I will show it to you. It is gorgeous. So I think you get four, oh, there's five, five of each one of these sheets. And I'll show you these first. Wait, there's the cut parts. And see, I do not think the front parts of these are by far the prettier side. I think the back part is. That one kind of looks like a map. Okay. And then I'll flip it over and I'll show you the back side. So you get the lace hearts. And then you have these feathers, which I think are gorgeous. And then look at those roses. Those are just gorgeous. And then look at that marble. The pink marble is just beautiful. And then look at that. Is that not beautiful? Those little white this rose is beautiful. And then you get that one. So I think that is just absolutely adorable. And then I had actually went to Hobby Lobby because I wanted to do some cutouts of some dolls and I needed some flesh tone paper. So I picked up this tone, picked up three of these at 49 cents a piece and they were 50% off. And then I picked up this tone here. I believe I picked up three of those, or two of those, not three of those. And then I picked up some hair tone colors. I picked up two of the kind of darker browns and then two lighter browns for some hair. I picked those up. I already had some black. So that was what I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And then I had stopped by my favorite trader, Trader's Mall. And I had been looking for some like jewelry pieces. I watch Rosa Gomez all the time and she's talking, she always talks about going out and picking up jewelry to use in her shabby chic designs. She has totally converted me to shabby chic, totally. And um, so while I was there, the person who I normally pick up all of my lace and things from um, had closed her booth. So I just looked for some other things while I was there. My daughter-in-law, as I've mentioned before, teaches, and I found these adorable, um, they're like recipe cards. And it says there's 50 cards and eight tab dividers, and that's what they look like. And it's not adorable. And the tab dividers say students, schedules, projects, and contacts. And I just thought they were so cute, so I'm gonna give those to her for when she starts teaching again after my grandson is born when they're in Pennsylvania. So I thought when she starts teaching again and she has a new class that this would be a great um, gift to put in a basket for her for her new class. So I picked up both packs that they had of these and they were a dollar a piece. I just thought they were so cute. So then I found this gorgeous stationery and it was 50 cents a piece and I picked up both of the um, packs that they had. They're the exact same. Is that not beautiful? And so dainty and girly. It says that there are 15 sheets and 10 envelopes. And uh, apparently this was a um, Greenbrier product. So apparently it came from the Dollar Tree at some point in time. I've never seen them carry anything like this, but apparently it was a Dollar Tree thing at some point. But is that not adorable? So I thought that um, I might attempt to create a paper box 
that kind of matches this stationery for a friend. So I thought that would be kind of pretty. So those were 50 cents a piece. I picked those up. Um, she, um, uh, Rosa's always picking up jewelry to do, to put in her shabby chic designs. And so I found this bracelet and originally I thought, well, I could craft with the bracelet, but then I thought I really like it. So I may actually wear it. It is the prettiest little bracelet. So it's a magnetic bracelet. It's um, got these purple beads on it. I don't know if you can see that. It's purple and then these are like green and purple and then it's got the little magnets on it. So it actually, you could wear it as a necklace, like a choker kind of thing, because it actually unwinds like that. And it's got a little claspy thing here. So you could actually wear it like this. and attach it like that and wear it as a necklace or you could wear it as a bracelet but it's just so pretty and I th originally my original thought was that I could take it apart and craft with the beads because they were so pretty and then I thought mm, I really really like it so I think it's actually going to go in my jewelry box because I really really like it a lot and that was two dollars and then I found this piece, and this reminded me of a necklace that she actually hauled. And this was a necklace and earrings, and it's by Sophie and Kate. And this was also $2. And this, my thought process is to take apart and use the actual pieces. It's kind of a pinky peach, and it has, it's glittery. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick up the little, like, facets of glitter in there of a pinky peach with sparkles and that's what the necklace looks like so I thought I could take that apart and use those little pieces either as the center of flowers or as like um, accent pieces on a project but I just thought that was really pretty it's not my type of jewelry it's nothing I would wear in my self personally there we go that's how it actually goes but it would I thought it would be beautiful as an accent piece so they're kind of a real soft peachy pink kind of color and then it's got the little earrings that go with it so I thought for two dollars that would be a really nice accent pieces and they're real soft colors so then as we were getting ready to leave um, I found some beads and these were just in a Ziploc bag marked $2. Um, so I went ahead and picked these up and these aren't really the soft pastel-y kind of colors, but they do work really well for some embellishments. Sometimes when I get into swaps, it's not necessarily what I want to make. It's just what I end up making. So. They're, um, here we all tangled up. Um, but they are black. There's the black ones. And then there's red ones. And then there's these really pretty green ones. Kind of green beans. And then there's also this blue colored bead. So, all together that's kind of what we ended up with there and then there's more black ones in the bottom of the bag and then there's also a big kind of clear looking bead down in there that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with but I thought those would make great you know I do make stick pins every once in a while so I thought those would be wonderful for that or to put in the centers of flowers or different other little embellishments. So that little bag of beads was $2. I didn't think that was too bad. And then at the same thing, I found this little um, 
container, I guess, of beads. So it had some white pearls. And then these are, it's got pink pearls in it. But then it also has some of these little like faceted beads in there. And then it had the little pink. You can see those. Let's see if I can get it between my fingers there. The little pink pearls. So I picked those up. And then it also has kind of a gray pearl down in there. And then the next little container over here just has a bigger um, silver bead. And the next one has dark, this one right here has dark and light colored gray beads. I know they're not showing up very well. And then this one here is a, it's not going to show up well in there or on camera, but this is kind of a mint green bead. And then these in this container here are kind of a hodgepodge of things. There's a bigger mint green kind of bead. And then there's some of the silver and then some clear beads that are bigger. And then in here there are some um, bead caps that I just dropped. If I can hold it on my thumb. There are some little bead caps. Maybe it'll focus. Some little bead caps. And then just kind of a hodgepodge of beads. Um, there's also some little I don't leave it on the floor. Um, there are also some of these little flat um, like kind of like little daisies. But they're my fingers are so big. I swear when I'm messing with the beads, I feel like my fingers are eight are ginormous. They're these little spacer beads. So, some of those. Um, then there are these. These here are a champagne gold kind of color. And that's what's in this container here. And then we're back around to the white ones. So, but this whole container was $2. And I thought that was a pretty decent deal. So, that was everything I picked up. I just kind of wanted to come on and chit chat with you guys and show you what I picked up today. Say hi. <laughs> um, I haven't had a chance to go out to the Dollar Tree this week. I hope I will get a chance to. They usually stock my stores on Tuesdays, so I'm going to try to go out on Wednesday and see what they have and see if I can find something new. Hopefully tomorrow, my husband has a procedure tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow I will get a chance to do my fairy garden if it stops raining around here. Hmm, hopefully. So, I promised I would show you guys my happy mail. My very good friend Linda sent me um, some happy mail. These are some of the lovely girls or gorgeous girls die cuts. And this is the little sailor girl. Are those not adorable? So this is what I was actually going after paper for is to get paper to work on mine. I have um, two of the little girls. And so I was actually going after paper to work on the, I needed some skin tone and some hair tone papers to work on the little girls. So those are two of the ones, this is one of the dyes I came looking for because I think she's so cute. But these are two of the little girls that she sent me. She not do an awesome job, those are so pretty. And then here are three more of the little girls that she sent me. Let's 
They're just so adorable. You just can't help but love them because they're so stinking cute. And this one here, you guys will have to tell me what you think. So all of the little girls have single hair except this one. If you can look here, I'll try to hold it up close. She's kind of got double layered hair. If you can see that. So you guys will have to tell me what you all think about that. About the double layer of hair there, if you can see it. So. And then here is another one. And see, she just has the single layer of hair on this one. And see how flat that lays. So, there's another little set of the little girls. Aren't they so cute? It's adorable. So you'll have to tell me what you guys think. And on the hair, tell me which you prefer. Do you prefer the double layered hair look? Like in the little girl with the green dress? Or do you prefer the single haired look? Like the little girl in the pink dress? Or can you tell a difference on camera? So, I love all of them because I think Lynn did a wonderful job. So... Well, with that being said, I'm going to hop off here. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and hopefully I will see you guys again on Wednesday or Thursday, but let me know in the description box below, or in the comment section below, what you guys have planned for the week, um, if you had what you all did over the weekend. Um, I will enclose some pictures at the end of what I did over the weekend, um, my son and I, with my mom and my husband went to one of our pre-Kentucky Derby Festival events, which is called Thunder Over Louisville, and I took some pictures on my phone, just a few of some of the fireworks. I took some on my camera that I haven't had a chance to download yet. But I'll include at the end some pictures of the fireworks and a picture of my son and I at the uh, hotel we stayed in. And on the third floor, we actually sat in a hot tub on the third floor and watched all the Navy and Air Force planes fly overhead during the day so I've never got to watch an air show from a hot tub it's amazing so you guys have a wonderful night and thanks for all of your continued support for all of my current subscribers thank you guys very much for all of your wonderful support and wonderful encouraging comments and for those of you who aren't subscribed please consider hitting that subscribe button below and if you do, a little bell will appear off to the side. And if you click on that, YouTube will notify you each and every time I upload a new video. And thanks again for taking time to watch and spend some time with me tonight. You guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.